uh, it, it, you know, my jaw was just on the floor all, the, the whole way through that movie because, <clears throat> you know, if, if you grew up in a city in the East in the 80s and went to public school, or, you know, nobody said those things back then. I mean, I don't know if, it, if any of you remember what it was like then when that movie came out, but it, it was... It's hard to describe the impact it, it had on a lot of people. It, it was not not just that nobody in America talked about race that way. No one talked about what it what it was like. Um, no one said those words, you know. But nobody made movies like that. That was it was like this whole new language, and 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 it was so original and so the colors were so crazy and the the camera pushing right in on people's faces while they while they talked and um, you know it it just it just blew my mind and and um, and I and I literally had to go back. My friends and I walked right back in and watched it again and and I. And that turned me on to Spike Lee, you know, and and his his movies, and and I I feel like film after film, Spike for me went in in my years of really locking into what films could do to you. I I felt like Spike was consistently this this filmmaker who was he was operating with his own voice and he was always just making movies fast and cheap and um, he was making movies about what was happening in the in his city and, and in his world and in the culture around him and he was making movies about about you know the, the things that were going on race and money and sports and drugs and he was he was just always always grappling with with what America's dealing with. And, um, and I don't think, if you look at the filmmakers across the last 20 years, A, there's not that many who have really come up with authentic, original voices, you know, like stylistic voices, and he's one of them. And, and there aren't that many who really, really dig into the, the consistently the social issues of the times they're living in, and, and he's definitely one of them. I think Spike's kind of like the Bud Schulberg of, of our, our era, and I, um, I, I don't think he gets appreciated at the level that I think he should, um, because he's a, he's, a, he's a genuine American original in film, and uh, so that that was why I made this film, because basically, I, I, when I was first getting into movies, I wrote Spike the Letter. I saw He Got Game, which I also thought was like a minor masterpiece, and and, um, and uh, I wrote him a letter and just said, you know, you're just, you're the shit. Like, you're, you, you're, <laughs> I, I, I pretty much said to him, like, you know, if I can carry lights for you, if I can pull up tape for you, let me know, I'll be there. And, um, and you know, and finally he called me and said, okay, I got something a little bit better than that. You know, he said, I read this book, I really like it, I think we should do it. And, um, and that's, that's how we, we came around to doing this. And, um, and it was weird, it was, the book, the book was great, but this, but 9-11 sort of intervened in the middle of it, and, and we ended up sort of wanting to make a movie about what New York felt like right after that happened, and, but without making it about that, and, and that, again, was, was, was what I love about Spike, is he, he didn't, even though he had a film script that wasn't about that, he was not willing to make a movie in New York at that moment and not deal with the way the city felt. And he just made this film that, like, for me, every frame of it just has the melancholy of what was going on in that city at that time. And, um... And I think uh, so. For me, for me, more than anything, this this movie was um, was just a, a it was a it was the realization of a, of a lifelong dream to get to work with Spike, and um, and and for that alone, I was I was really grateful to get to do it. But um, <laughs> the other thing that's worth sharing about Spike that I like is I think you'll you'll find like. If you're working in movies or you're working in anything else, you'll run into some people who who are really um, like there. There are people who deny their.